Notorious. Oh my god, I have the Duran Duran version in my head. I was watching Donnie Darko yesterday. And I haven't seen Donnie for uh, like at least a year now. And I forgot how awesome that fucking soundtrack was. Is that Duran Duran? Don't ask me to be for it. Anytime I always say Aquarius, I say Notorious. Notorious. Because it sounds like Aquarius. All right, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I feel like that's too many. Hawk. I'm just going to drop that now. When the kids want to get it, you drop it like it's hot. Ha, <laughs> nah, I just got Snoop Dogg in my head. Um, yeah, that's, I was like that. Is that too dark now? I don't Definitely feels like it's too dark for my sunglasses. Don't ask me to play for it. I need this blood to survive. Oh god, that's gonna be in my head now. You can control the business. Okay. Don't monkey with my business. Oh, okay. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, snake. Oh my god, I've never even seen this card. I don't know how easy it is going to be to pick up on camera. It's... I don't know. That's, it's fucking crazy. It's like half woman, half snake. Her arm is the snake and she's got scales on her face. Oh my god, it's creepy. Oh, the hair on. Got the old hair on. And we got the totem. Nice, nice. Totem. And then we've got the wolf. So from the looks of it, I think somebody is going through some type of transformation. Um, it's like some type of rebirth of feminine energy within somebody. It's like we're birthing, yeah, rebirthing feminine energy. Because they've done, I don't know, maybe they had a vision. You could have had a vision. And you saw the future. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you could have had some type of premonition, okay, that you were going to be with somebody or uh, that some type of situation was going to unveil itself eventually. So this person trusted that vision and went, okay, well... Um, if that's what they're showing me and that's what I can sense, then I'm going to go towards that some type of circle of life. Like they, they might've even saw the beginning, the middle and the end of something, um, like premonition of like having a child or something like that, some type of premie for sure. Okay. And, um, that 
because they healed and they transformed once they saw the premonition, once they saw the vision, then it was like a light went off and that healing subconsciously um, went straight to their energy, their feminine energy. And, and um, it could be a masculine. It really doesn't matter. Healing the feminine is just healing that, uh, that uh, healing energy inside of you, basically that mothering energy, that energy, that the compassionate energy, the nurturing energy. It's like you, you naturally healed that inside of you by this transformation because of this vision. And then totem is about putting like totems were used uh, by family clans, basically, right? It represented who they are. Um, it was like a membership, okay? In a clan, basically. Um, marriage could have done it as well. Um, it was all about their kin, okay? And animal totems, um, they're basically used around the globe. They're guardians, okay? They protect the tribe. So it's like this feminine energy naturally protected the vision. Oh my God, that's what it is. And then because of that, something so pure is created with the wolf. The wolf has the healing abilities to cure the sick. So what wolves do, what she wolves do, okay, they're, they're seen as um, matriarchs. They're invoked in purification rituals. So it's like the inner wolf is created in somebody. Maybe the totem is the wolf pack. You know, you could be. Um, what do we want to use? Uh, you could be, um, like going into a new family. Yes. So it's like you broke by healing, by somebody healing themselves, they broke up stagnant energy that was inside of them and started to make way better choices in their life. That's the thing. So it's almost like they saw a vision. Somebody saw a vision of something and then they naturally started changing their life. And by doing that, it cut out so many things and, and brought them into healthier things. And again, it was all subconscious because it was, it's the work of what soulmates do together, right? It's, it's the way that things can change each other. So if this person had a vision, um, that contained something, then they naturally went forward towards it, changing the direction in which they were moving before. So there's the butterfly with engagement ring. So I feel like with the wolf and totem. So I think that somebody, um, you know, like somebody's going towards uh, some type of commitment. 
like some type of um, relationship evolves to the next phase. So it's almost like this vision, this prophecy is now coming true. The prophecy now is coming true. And then there's abundance. I couldn't help but not see that on the bottom of the deck before. So I just happened to see it again. So I want to take it. Um, this person, like you could have been a part of being stabbed in the back by some type of twin flame that was hiding from you in some way. They, they didn't know how to balance themselves. So instead they attacked you and once they attacked you once they hurt you then that's when they changed that some type of deception changed them out of feeling the way that they did before this person is much happier now or you're much happier now and then abundance comes in because some type of positive mindset and like that's the thing is like you keep your thoughts positive and you keep your vibration high then you you go into that vibration right you go into that life kind of naturally because your frequency is so high i can hear a blue jay now i'm almost gonna keep this short I almost feel like, I almost feel like the animal cards didn't even want me to pull these other cards. They were like, that's it. That's all you've got to say, basically. So I think that is actually all I'm going to say. I kind of like to keep some of these readings short, you know, so they don't always have to be so long and take up my whole fucking day because I got some shit to do today. So I'm going to go do that. Um, I might be back later with some readings. I don't know what I'm going to, I'm sure I'll put these ones up now. So anyways, uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, it looks like somebody had a prophecy and that prophecy is now coming true and they're moving towards some type of guardianship, um, that is going to create like a family for them or a safe haven for them. You know, wolf packs, I don't know if you ever looked wolf packs up, but the strongest are on the outside and they put the weakest and the young on the inside because they're fucking geniuses. And that's what you should do because the youngest and the oldest are the weakest. It's the middle-aged ones that are the strongest. So they put those motherfuckers on the outside. So it's like, maybe you're weak, you know, or your energy is weak. And now you're going to have this um, guardianship that's going to come in and they're, they're going to put you in the middle of the pack. So then nobody, so then you don't have to go out and do stuff anymore. You know, like you shouldn't have to keep defending yourself every day. You should be able to be a part of something that you work with too. And you all protect each other. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, personal readings, Whitney Moonshine at gmail.com. If not, just enjoy the channel. It's all good. Um, remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Wait for the next reading. It really doesn't matter. Um, join us over, over at, uh, over, over at, uh, TikTok. Um, we're going to TikTok till we don't stop until we delete the account and we don't care. So if you want to be over there, it's just a way that I can fucking advertise somewhere else. That's all it is. Um, so... Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And join me, don't join me. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, yeah, thanks Aquarius. Awesome energy. I hope your, uh, hope your week goes awesome. And I hope you get some good news. And namaste, have a good one.